Hello, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Our altar is starting to get a little greedy. Gunpowder is not an issue. There are plenty of ways to craft it, including getting sulfur and niter from the overworld. Other items, such as spider eyes or ink sacks, well, that's another story. We're going to start working towards getting survival spawners. I actually have all the resources already set aside. If you look at this chest here, we have all the black chromatic steel we need, the echo pog, and enough cage dust to make the eight cage pieces. The only problem we do have is the cost. 15 knowledge stars. We have four right now unspent and we have another three. So we still need seven more knowledge stars. So that's going to be our priority for the next few days. I figure it'll take quite a few days because, well, my last vault run netted me about 40 knowledge essence and it takes 70 two knowledge essence per knowledge star so we figure one star every two volts it's going to take us about eight or nine volts we're also pretty badly in need of vault coins as you see we have a total of 65 gold so i had this choice flask for hunter and we are going to reset hunter and spec into coins so we'll no longer be able to find monoliths and obelisks or the um God altars but this will light up any coins in when we enter a room and well we target coins for a while all right, let's test out Hunter for coins. And naturally, first vault expect out of Observer is a monolith vault, one where we could actually use Observer. Let's see. No coins in this room. Actually, this is a ore room. I need ore. I need ore bad because I just repaired my sword and that used up almost all of my pain that I had left. Oh, he hit hard. Ooh, black opal. Good. I'm almost out of that also. Actually, I may be completely out of black opal. I just used the last eight perfect black opal in order to make those black chromatic steel. Not bad. Like I said, I badly needed ore. Could use more of these uh, ore POIs. It is getting noisy back there. Nice gem. Two more gems. Uh, couldn't go one, two, three. That's an ornate dungeon below me. So we're gonna hit that up in a minute. I just want to get all of these first.
There we go. That took a very long time. I was gonna say there has to be some good loot in here for it to be worth it. over here. Yes, yes there is. Apparently, it still has its spawner. Ah, uh, which one is Ghost Walk? This one? Yes. There we go. Perfect. A wealthy scavenger. I mean, a uh, wealthy vault, and it's a scavenger hunt too.
<laughs> as uh as a uh, tango would say squeaky bum time I'm 101 coin pals. That's awesome. <laughs> 101 coin pals from that last vault. Added us two gold, nine silver, and uh, one uh, 447 bronze. Not bad. Look what we completed in the last vault. 14, almost 15,000 XP. That will leave us with only 7,000 left till we reach level 34. Oh. Wild, gilded, nether void. I don't know if I really want to do this vault. I do want that stuff. Ward liquid. <laughs> uh, challenge room. In a void vault. You know what? This vault is not worth it. I'm getting out. Lucky and ornate and not a void vault. As soon as I heard a baby zombie, I knew there was a leak coming. Aha, it's a coin dungeon. Best way to neutralize this dungeon.
20 or 8. It didn't seem like I got that many, but clearly I got a decent amount. Good amount of corn piles. And that uh, elite helped quite a bit. Level 24. One more level, and I can make the new tier of vault tools. I've run about seven or eight vaults so far today, and we have quite a bit of loot to go through. Let's uh, start with the bounty crates. One is just a normal bounty crate, and the other is from the legendary. Yeah, um, now we've got even more stuff to go through. Let's just uh, dump those in there. By the way, when I started today, I had 56 gold. Today's been a good day for gold. All right, and we have eight pieces of gear to roll, two swords, two idols, two leggings, a chest piece, and a helmet. The sword is terrible. Well, it's got pretty good Fatal Strike. I don't use Fatal Strike. Fortunately, that was the uh, level 31 sword, and that one's not much better. Idols, we got Slowness Immunity, Cooldown Reduction. Uh, those are that great either. Leggings, let's see. We've got 10 and 4 health. This has 10 mana. Why do I keep winding up with leggings that are decent? Those we don't really need to keep. That chest plate's... Do I have a rusty scavenger chest piece? Go check in a minute. And a rusty raider helmet. And let's look at our jewels since we have quite a bit. Size 82 axing. That's getting axed. Size 33 picking. Size 48 picking reach and item quantity. That's not too bad. Size 56 axing item rarity trap disarmament. That's borderline. Size 16 mining speed. That's worth keeping. That shoveling's not. Nor is that axing. Nor is that picking. That's very good. Size 17 coin affinity and copious. Another axing to be trashed. Size 22 vanilla immortality. That's not bad. Size 19 vanilla immortality. That's also pretty good. 55 wooden affinity. We don't need that. 72... Uh, reach, we don't need that. Perfect Jewel, 72 size, living, shoveling, vanilla immortality, and copious. That could be useful, though I don't know if I'm going to use it now. Size 30, coin affinity, shoveling, and item rarity. That is awesome. And just quickly checking my armor haul, I do not have a rusty scavenger helmet. No, sorry, chest piece. The helmet's the rusty raider, which I also don't have. Oh, that's the full Rusty Raider set. I can now enclose that in glass. Like what I have here for the Rusty Knight. Last but not least, we have our Relic Booster Packs and our Mystery Boxes. Piece of the Warrior set. And the Dragon Tail. We already have the Dragon Tail, but we do not have the Warrior Chest Piece. And our Mystery Boxes. Bunch of diamonds, couple of MR, a singular emerald. This may be a mistake, but I want to get started on those level 35 volt tools. So, level 35. Let's see what we need to craft the next tools. 12 Volterite ingots, 48 driftwood, 2 gold, and 3 Wutadite mass. There we go. We have our new level 35 Volterite pick, and it has 200 capacity. So now I'm going to have to go through these and figure out which gems I want to use for this. We'll be back in a minute. Here's my current pick. Picking, cone infinity, shoveling, wooden, two mining speed, and 1.3% copious. This is what I've got lined up so far. Coin, infinity, shoveling, item rarity, wooden, axing, plus two mining speed, 5% disarm chance, gilded affinity, ornate and soulbound, 2.2 mining speed, and 4.5 mining speed. And that should leave me with about 40 
capacity left. So let's gem this up. Thirty seven capacity. I must have must have miscalculated. Let's put the item quantity on. That does leave 14 left, which is enough space to add another gem if I get a really good one. And now we have a Paxel. Picking, coin affinity, shoveling, ornate, wooden, axing, gilded, item rarity, soulbound, 8.7 mining speed, 5% trap disarmament, and item quantity. And after a quick trip to the nether to get the required levels, we now have a fully enchanted Silk Touch Voltorite Paxel. Yeah, I think this is going to do quite good. Well, that was a uh, marathon of vaults I ran today. And now we have our Paxel. I, uh, I did the math. If you don't know how the mining speed calculation works, it's your efficiency squared plus one plus your mining speed. So efficiency five squared is 25 plus one is 26. The Paxel has a base mining speed of nine. That brings it up to 35. And then I have 2.7 on my magnet and an additional 8.7 on this Paxel, which gives me a final mining speed of 46.4 without including haste. And I didn't do the haste calculation. So let's just say it's somewhere around 50 mining speed. That aside, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've had a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Later.